and I knew I'd have jet lag, so I purposely planned a hike up Diamond Head the next day, early in the morning, because before it got too hot, and because I knew we'd be up early and needing something to do. So for your for eight day itinerary, keep in mind jet lag and having to adjust to things and still planning activities because you know you may wake up. We woke up at 5 a.m. the next day because we had gone to sleep early, but we were at Diamond Head hiking. Um, 6 30 in the morning and there was a lot of people there because a lot of people who let's say you travel from east coast Honolulu is six hours behind you they were also experiencing jet lag such as we were the hike up diamond head was wonderful it was it's a moderate level of skill and but when you get to the top you are highly rewarded by the view it's a 360 review of the pacific ocean the beach shores the Honolulu skyline it's just a beautiful sight to see. So I would say it was rewarding once you get to the top.